Hello, beta testers. It should come as no surprise. The internet hates Rocksteady's $70 Battle Pass Haven emote gun wrap and ugly skin selling third person looter shooter. As if jumping around and shooting the weak point wasn't kindergarten enough. The game has to be always online. The character designs are absolutely disgusting. Clearly crafted by a woke team full of women haters, probably women themselves, jealous that other women get to look good, but the men can still look jacked because they're not the triggered ones in the studio, hubba hubba. And just like Marvel's Avengers paradoxically expected people to pay extra for ugly skins, they can't deliver a better or comparable experience to what free to play games offer. I wasn't looking at this thinking, oh, it's like Fortnite. I was thinking Crackdown. I was thinking Hyperscape. But the Avengers similarities don't stop there. These lazy skins, I, I like I challenge you to obliterate brain cells enough to think up something as creatively bankrupt the same as, oh, they wear Superman outfit. They wear, they wear Wonder Woman, this extremely covered up conservative Wonder Woman outfit because like skin is evil. It's that Mortal Kombat hypocrisy. The men can be shirtless and jacked and cut, but the women better cover up. Ugh, the male gaze. You're always preaching inclusivity and diversity, but you're always excluding the curvy honeys. How poetic is it that you are now eclipsed in the shadow of street fighters? Celebration of femininity. Just because she's athletic doesn't mean she loses the appeal. I know it may seem shallow or hyper-focused on looks, but comic books used to understand how important appealing at a glance is. This is why people are willing to pay upwards of thousands of dollars for something like a figure that they're going to put on a shelf and never use again. If you don't get it, you don't get it. And if there's one thing that that presentation made abundantly clear, it's that you're dealing with a bunch of motherfuckers who don't get it. I don't care how college brochure your studio is, homie. Guys, if you know anything about me, you know I'm gay, and you know I'm all about that gay pride. Check it out. Gay Pride Deadpool. This is exactly how Saints Row was super busy signaling to the types of people that do not buy your games. These are the types of people boycotting Hogwarts Legacy. They do not have an impact on reality. And unlike Hogwarts Legacy that went out of its way to satisfy and include without being preachy, without fucking ruining the designs of people, you can't do better or even compare at a glance to an eight-year-old game. And now on all cylinders, on all fronts, you are disappointing. This is why these sites don't want people to see something as simple as a downvote. They want you to consume without question. So understand this, if you're a shill like Caboose, with your mouth perpetually open to accept whatever crotch in your face on a daily basis, leave this channel right now, it's not for you. To everyone else, comment how you felt when you saw that last showcase, Twitter erupted with disappointment I can't fit into this video. So next time, I'm proud of and overwhelmed by the response to this because I encourage everybody to make their voices heard. Which brings us neatly to this brainiac looking motherfucker. Says at the bottom of the screen, he's the character and weapons art director. Weapons not really relevant, but character art director? You're telling me it's a man wearing a blouse that's in charge of making these women ugly? Albert, feel you. I don't feel you on these designs. Do you feel me? You're shitting on your plate before you send it out, and you couldn't possibly have expected people to be like, mm, unless they a dog, nigga. You, they, they, that's how they treating y'all, like dogs, bro. Whoa. Like and subscribe, because for the next few days, I'm going to show you what content really is. How long until you think a game like this will end up with furry skins? Because th that's what Avengers did. And I'm willing to bet the studio's freaky enough to put animal people in there before they'd ever allow a pretty woman in their game. Hogwarts Legacy did not reach 12 million by pissing off fans. I'm not even indicative of most people who are fully off board for this. 
I was willing to give it a shot. Live services can be done well if you actually put the effort in. But I can see that right off the bat. Rocksteady, you're resisting profit by making sex appeal too taboo because you're woke. And this harms not only profitability, but sustainability because a live service lives and dies on how many people play it. And most importantly, how many people are in that bitch initially? And the general sentiment surrounding your game is, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for a sale. That's the smart thing to do. I fucking love you. If you're watching this beta tester and deciding, I will not beta test their product. You won't need to brace for Babylon's fall, Rocksteady. Because you're already eating, sleeping, and thinking about the comparisons to Marvel's Avengers. Somehow you're not intelligent enough to have hired somebody in touch enough to understand what needed to be shown and specifically your main objective right now which is to distance yourself from marvel's avengers but you're out of touch and you're out of you're out of touch touch you're out of time i know many harley quinn loving girls and boys who were eager and willing to immediately purchase this game if you just showed them harley in an appealing outfit you showed her in two different prison outfits. If that isn't just the Marvel's Avengers palette swap, the, oh, this is the same skin, but with the mask off, pay me $20. Oh, this one has a cape. He's wearing a hat. You know what I mean? Malibu Stacy. Damn, that's lazy. And if we didn't know any better, we'd think that you assholes are trying to sabotage shit from the inside. Moving forward, surely you should understand, allowing people to interact in the way that they wish is key to making your work relatable, identifiable maybe. It's a game, so leading into allowing people to engage with it or embody a dream version of themselves, it's pretty, it's pretty harmless, right? It should be. It should be if you're not so ugly that you want the world to be as ugly as you, okay? Allowing them to embody what they wish to be viewed as will allow them to have impactful experiences in and around your work. And to put this in terms relevant to a business, it'll make more money. It'll make more money. If you trick them into loving not just the carrot, but how pretty the stick is, it'll make more money. And some of these vocal, passionate fans will tell you what kind of stick they would buy. Will tell you what color the carrot needs to be to appeal specifically for them. But you're willing and ready to fight them instead of delivering what people want. And this I know what people want. You can hire a million cabooses overnight. It's not going to make a fucking difference. You feel me? But woke can't do business. Woke can only lose business. These free consultations from somebody that you have to wait for time to show you is more intelligent than you. Kyle really doesn't give a fuck about nothing but being right. It's crazy. Bombaclot is shameful, Rocksteady. Next video, I'm going to read all of the internet's comments. Viewer, I love you. Thank you for commenting. Jump in the Discord. I genuinely need you for the next video to send me all of the most ruthless, blunt, and honest takes that you can find. One of my favorites basically was saying it was as if they just scanned somebody that was at the studio into the game instead of finding someone attractive or, or, or you know, modeling it themselves. That is fucked. But it's honest and it feels that way. And if it is the case, can you imagine if they really did scan somebody from the office in and we could tell? Is that like not being able to pass? Is it offensive that we're calling it out at all? God forbid that with skins you're selling to people that women can be pretty. This game can just burn. I'll see you when it's free. Yeah, I'm talking about.